Hello and welcome. And today we're out in the countryside in South Osaka. Let's find out what can be. So before we start today's trip, I want to say that I recently got a new lens and right now I'm shooting on a 50 millimeter. So I'm going to change to this 24 millimeter and we're going to see how it shoots today. So let's get walking. I forgot to bring a drink, which is of course my fault, but uh, behind me is a vending machine. So I think I'm going to pick up a drink real quick. So the drink that I decided to go with is this Asahi made Mitsuya melon cider. Uh, the melon means that it's cantaloupe flavored or uh, honeydew rock melon. That's, I don't know if I've had this one particularly, but uh, let's crack it open and see. Oh yeah, that was a good crack. It doesn't really taste like real melon, but uh, it tastes like other melon sodas. It's very smooth though. All right, let's get back walking. It actually looks to me like a lot of the houses in this area have been reformed recently, even though the exteriors seem to be like the old style rock wall like this one I'm walking by right now. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the floodplain and we'll be at the little stream slash river in a minute. It looks like right here behind me, there's a large field of onions that are growing and they are all really nice and green. If you look down here behind me about right here and over there it looks like there's some turtles that are just having a little play and enjoying the sunshine like I am oh actually there's a carp right there as well Right behind me, right here, if you look, is a bathtub. And I've seen these in a lot of the Inaki gardens. They've taken a old bathtub that's usually uh, really heavy and really durable out of a remodeled house or a torn down house. And they use it as a water trough to save for uh, their local garden or farm when they need it. Yeah, that's solid. So here are actually some plums that are on a tree that are out uh, by the water. It looks like they're just now starting to turn pink and this tree is just packed with them. There's probably four or five in my hand right now. Another couple on each branch. Give it a couple weeks and this thing will be full of just tons and tons of plums. So yeah, that is a lot of onions. I think there's probably three or four fields of them right now. If you ever see one of these buildings, like the one that's behind me over here, uh, this probably has a local shrine or danjiri in it. And in the fall time, around harvest time, those are carried around the area or held in events, matsuris or festivals, and they are big. All right, so that's it for the walk along the river and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna head up this road that's behind me and walk up to a local shrine. Let's go.
while it might not seem so steep, this is actually a lot steeper than I'm used to. And uh, I'm definitely feeling the, the lockdown 15. Whew. Yeah, almost there. Behind me is some um, light pink and some almost purple azaleas or sutsuji. They can be found all over Japan and they are very beautiful, especially towards the end of April and the start of May. So we're almost at the shrine, so let's get going. So we're now at Mitami Jinja and we're outside the main gate and I just saw some other people walking on so it's time to keep that mask on. Let's go. From here a lot of this stuff is new. They've remodeled a lot of stuff. This is traditionally where you would wash your hands uh, to cleanse yourself when you go into the shrine. But of course, with the restrictions, they've decided to close it and instead just respect everyone as we should. Right behind me is a little pit where stuff gets burned, uh, charms or lucky items that people might have. Uh, every year around New Year's, we bring the previous year's charms or goodwill offerings from our house and we can put it in there and it will get burned and cleansed. Like with other mini shrines and temples, they have closed the offering boxes and bells uh, to help prevent the spread of Corona. But normally there would be a rope here, which is hanging. It's connected to a bell. You would ring it and then you would make a donation. So let's get that money ready. Typically when making a donation, people tend to use a 50 yen or goju yen dama or go yen dama, five yen. Uh, the hole in the middle signals good luck. I actually heard it doesn't matter, donate what you can and what you want, and uh, you know, just do your best. And that's what I'm gonna do. So if you've ever wondered what these stones are that are outside the edge of a shrine or a temple, usually the names etched to them are the partitioners, the people who have helped fund or continue to support the local shrine and temple. And this one has them all the way around the outside of this hill. Uh, these lanterns that are behind me are really beautiful in the springtime, but also in the winter and nighttime. When New Year's comes along, they're often lit up and it's really, really beautiful. All right, right behind me is where you might buy a talisman or an omomori. Uh, these go in your wallet, on your school bag, maybe in your house. I buy one every year around New Year's and for my house 
and they're listed up here and they range for a variety of different things. All right, thank you for joining me today on this walk. It has been a lot of fun for checking out the local fields and the flowers and what vegetables are growing. And then joining me here at the Mitami Jinja to see a local shrine. Uh, if you like this content, you know, if you wouldn't mind hitting it up with a, a like, and uh, I'll see you in the next video for what can be. Oh, I almost forgot my drink. Oh, yeah, did forget my mask. Time to go home.